two pet peeves because I'm a financial literacy nerd. People say the S&P 500 is a U.S. index that has 500 of the biggest companies in America. That is wrong. To be included in the S&P 500, you just need to have a market cap of 13.1 billion. You need to have the majority of the shares in public hands, and you need to be a public company for at least a year. Nothing about being the biggest company. In fact, here are some of the biggest companies that are not in the S&P 500. They're pretty big. Number two. Take a portion of your paycheck and DCA into your portfolio, dollar cost average into your portfolio. Taking a part of your paycheck and investing it into your portfolio is not dollar cost averaging. That's called lump sum investing. And if you have $200 available after every paycheck, you're lumping it in in one time. It's lump sum investing, not dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is if you took that $200, split it into 10 equal payments and invested it over 10 periods. Vanguard, in their study, made it very clear that people who contribute regularly from their pay are not dollar cost averaging. They're lump sum investing. And also from their study, lump sum investing beats dollar cost averaging, hands down. Over three different markets, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and over a long period of time, about 80 years. So when people say that they're dollar cost averaging their paycheck, they don't know what they're talking about. They're actually lump sum investing. And that's me getting off my soapbox because I'm a financial literacy nerd. Good luck. Take care.